Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Now let's solve this one another problem from chapter 6. And in the problem it is said that determine the force force in members AF, BF and BC and state if the members are in tension or compression. Right? So we are going to solve this particular problem by using the method of sections. So, in method of section what we will do is that we will pass a cutting section through these members, right? So, since we are interested to find the force in this AF member and this BF member and this BC member, so what we will do is that we will pass an imaginary cutting section through these three members, right? For our analysis, we will consider this uh, upper part of this truss, right? This imaginary section will divide this whole truss into two parts. Right, so then we will consider this upper part for our analysis. So if we look into this upper part, so there is no reaction, right? There is no support uh, in the upper part, right? So this means that if we are analyzing, if we are going to analyze the upper part of this imaginary section, so there is no need to determine the reaction forces at point A and B, right? So now if I pass a cutting section to these three members, so then we will have a free body diagram like this, right? So then let's say that uh, the force in this AF member is let's say in tension, right? We are assuming that all the members are in tension, right? So if all the members are in tension, so the forces will be acting away from their respective joints, right? So let's say that the force in AF member is represented by AF. Similarly, let's say that the force in BF member is also the tension force, so it will be acting away from this joint F. And let's say that this BF member force is represented by BF. And similarly, this BC member is let's say also in compression, we are assuming that it is also in compression, right? So its force, its force will be also acting away from this joint C. And let's say that this BC member force is represented by BC, right? So now this problem is quite easy. We have to determine these three unknown forces. And we are considering this upper part, right? So now if I apply the summation of moment about point B equals to 0, right? Here we have that point B. So now we can see that this BF uh, member force and this BC member force is passing through that point B, right? So they are not going to produce the moment about this point B, right? So only this AF, this 8 kN force and this 4 kN force are producing the moment about that point B, right? So now as we can see that this AF force is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point B and the moment arm of this AF force from that point B is 1.5 meters, right? So we will write that this will be 1.5 times AF, right? And it is producing the counterclockwise moment, so we will write plus. This 8 kN force is producing the clockwise moment about that point B, so I will write minus, this is 8. And the perpendicular distance of this 8 kN force from that point B is 2 meters, right? So we will multiply this with 2. Similarly, this 4 kN force is also producing the clockwise moment about that point B. So I will write minus 4. And the moment arm of this 4 kN force from that point B is 2 plus 2, right? This is the perpendicular distance. So it is 4. So I will multiply this with 4. And this is equal to 0. Right? So, if we bring these two terms to the other side of the equation, so their signs will become positive. So, we can calculate it. This will be 8 into 2 is 16 plus 16, right? So, this is 32 divided by 1.5. So, this gives us AF uh, member force equals to 21.33. So, this is equal to 21.33. 3 kilonewton since these forces are in kilonewtons, right? And we got the sign as positive, right? So, what does this mean is that the assumed direction is accurate. The positive sign means that the assumed direction is accurate and the assumed direction is acting away from joint F. So, that means that in this AF member force is the tension force, 
right and its magnitude is 21.33 kilo newton. Now, to find this BC member force if we apply the summation of moment about point F equals to 0. So, now as we can see that B F and A F both of these forces are passing through that point F. So, they are not going to produce the moment about that point F right. So, this A F B F and this 8 Newton force they are not producing the moment about this point F right. So, this B C and this 4 Newton force they are producing the moment about this point F. So, now as we can see that this B C is producing the clockwise moment about that point F. So, I will write minus B C and the perpendicular distance of this B C from that point F is this length which is 1.5 meters. So, I will multiply this with 1.5. Similarly, this 4 kilonewton force is also producing the clockwise moment about that point F. So, I will write minus 4 and the perpendicular distance of this 4 kilonewton force from this point F is 2 meters. So, I will multiply this with 2 and this is equal to 0 or we can say that if we bring this to the other side. So, its sign will become positive. So, we can find B C member 4. So, this will be 8 divided by minus 1.5. So, this is equal to minus 5.33. So, B C B C member force is equal to minus 5.33 kilo Newton. So, the minus sign indicates that the assumed direction is not accurate. It is acting towards this joint C. So, if it is acting towards this joint C. So, this means that it is the compressive force and the negative sign indicates that it is the compressive force right. So, we can say that B C member force is, has a magnitude of 5.33 kilo Newton and it is compressive force. Now, we are left with this B F member force. So, uh, for this if I apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 right for this whole uh, section right. So, now we need to resolve this B F force right and this B F force is making some angle theta here right. So, we can find this angle theta by applying tan theta right. So, if I apply tan theta, so this tan theta will be equal to perpendicular divided by base. So, perpendicular is 2 and the base is 1.5 and if we take tan inverse, so we will get that angle. 2 divided by 1.5. So, this gives us 53.13 right. So, theta equals to 53.13 degrees. So, now I can resolve this B F force into its components right. So, along x it will have one component like this and this will be the cos component right. So, now if I apply the summation of forces along x. So, this cos component of B f is acting in the positive x direction if this is my positive x direction and this is my positive y direction. So, we can write that this will be B f cos of theta which is 53.13 and then this plus 8 kilo newton it is acting in the positive x direction. So, I will write plus 8 and this 4 kilo newton is also acting in the positive x direction. So, we will write plus 4 and this A f and this B c they are acting in the y direction right. So, they will not come into our equation. So, this will be equal to 0. So, this will be equal to we can say that this will be minus 8 and minus 4. So, this will be minus 12 divided by cos of 53.13. So, this gives us B C force equals to minus 20 kilo Newton this B F force right. So, this B F force is equal to minus 20 kilo Newton. So, again the minus sign indicates that the assumed direction is not accurate right. It is acting in the opposite direction and if it is acting in the opposite direction. So, this means that this B F force is the compressive force right. So, we can say that its magnitude is 20 kilo Newton and it is compressive force. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood this particular problem. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Also like this particular video if, if you people find it helpful.